Okay guys, I'm gonna show you this. This is unbelievable. The wind here is unbelievable. Woo! Ah! Woo! Okay. Woo! Yeah. Okay guys, I don't know what's going on with the wind here, but this is pretty unbelievable. I think a front's coming in or something, but I've never seen this even in a hurricane in Florida. This is pretty bad. See, look, there's a lot of people out still. But you can't stand over there because on the beach you'll get sandblasted. Literally, I couldn't not stand there. It was that windy. So, but I got a wind meter here. It's like 20 mile an hour sustained, and it was going up to 25, 27 gusts. Now, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. I just don't understand where this is coming from because this just doesn't seem normal. I mean, you would think it was a hurricane or tropical storm out here, but this is crazy. There's, there's awnings. Oh, no, guy's awning just blew off. Hold on. Guy's awning just blew off completely. Tore off his trailer. Okay, I just read there's supposed to be up to 50 mile an hour winds, but these guys, these guys got tents over here. See, way down there. And 50 mile an hour winds, we're going to get 60 gusts. I don't, that's a lot. Lucky we're inland. This is why we choose, this is why we chose to be way inland in here, you know what I mean? We're way in here. We're not on the beach completely, which is great. Because I don't want to be out there. Gosh, look at this hairdo. Long, look like a clown head. I need to cut this. There, that's better. It's a little bit better. Cleaned up a little bit there. Heather's, Heather cut my hair. Hey, well you know what guys? We ordered that washer, as you all know. And that washer um, didn't come on time, as usual. It's from a big company. I'm not going to mention the name, but they want to want to they want us to wait a week more. And I said no. I absolutely said no way. I'm not waiting three weeks for a washer. So what I did is I called up the main manager, and they're sending a truck out here, a Sprinter, three hours, three hours for us. Well, I called up. Uh, I did a couple. Uh, I didn't like the fact that they wanted to make us wait weeks and weeks for something that we're supposed to get. So I called the general manager, and what do you know? Someone's driving us three hours out here to get her washer to us in person. Hi. Today, tonight it'll be here, because she doesn't want us to wait the weekend after we complain. What do you know? A couple phone calls that, you know, when you get upset, works. Shouldn't have to push big companies like this. They shouldn't do that, though, huh? No, That's why I shop at Amazon. That's why I shop at Amazon. Amazon is going to be a huge sponsor for us, because you want to know why I push them? Because I love them. It's not pushing them because I want to, or I'm getting paid. I love Amazon. I would Amazon. love to know what you said to them to get them to drive three hours to come out I just here. said, uh, what did I, I say? Like you would love to know what I said to them to get here? drive three hours to come bring our, to hand deliver our, our washer? I said, I'm going to Amazon to buy one. And they said, no. I said, well, then get it here because Amazon would have got it here by now. Well, Freddie got them to bring my washer to me. But now I have a sea of crap. It has to find a new home. Show them what I'm doing, Fred. Hooray! Show them what I'm doing. Here's Fred. Taking out the, the shelves. So that he can find the um, washer dryer hookup thingies. See, ladies, these are the things I'm telling you. It is a great thing to be able to go full time with your husband. But if you're like me and you do crafts, it's like, where do you put all your stuff? I never feel settled yet because I've got crap everywhere. I've got little pokey things in here that belong with my paints, but I, I don't have any more room in my thing, so I can't put that there. Somehow I have to figure out some kind of a a desk or something for myself somewhere. This I don't top know peak, where. My, this top peak, look at how much space we got. Uh, this top part might have, might have to come out. No, that has to stay there. Well, I can't get to the fittings. I got to lift that up. Hot water, cold water, drain. And outlets, you got to bring that through the hole for the outlet. So pretty easy to set up. Pretty easy. Now I'm gonna probably have to drill a couple holes in this shelf so I can keep put this shelf back in because I think the the washer will stand up in here perfect. Okay, guys, I'm trying to eat healthier, so we got avocados today, and uh, this is my dinner right here for once. Trying to cut back a little. Gotta eat healthy, I guess. You gotta try, right? Well, you got your washer. It's in the car right now. It's pouring rain, so we're not taking it out tonight. Right? No, another day, all day long we waited. It is what, nine o'clock at night and we finally just got the washer after my Freddie had to yell and scream and 
At least this Rant weekend. And rave, you're and finally we got our washer, which means we could do laundry this weekend. Mm -hmm. Only because I've washed everything by hand and I've had enough. So I'm so excited, and I just want to go tear into it. But it's raining and it's late, and it'll just be too much. So, so what do you say to people at the end of videos? So you guys will see what's going on tomorrow, and you guys know what to do. And we're gonna do a review on it too. Oh yeah, we're gonna do a review on the the um that thing, and to see it's so late. I can't even. I don't even know what the hell's going on anymore. I'm tired. See what to do. So you guys know what to do. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.